we taught, we went to Harvard Business School and they taught the MicroStrategy case study. And the professor calls me and says, well, you know, the students are really excited. They studied the MicroStrategy story. This is after we'd done it and after it worked. He said, we studied the MicroStrategy story. He said, we'd like you to come in and talk to the class. This is the greatest business school in the United States, maybe the most famous business school in America, the best and the brightest. You have to be the best students. So this is what happens. I go to the class, I, you know, I zoom in, I said, yeah, well, I mean, the company uh, was at the end of the line. Uh, we were going to have to sell the company. It was, the enterprise was worth $600 million. And uh, we were at our wits and we tried everything we could possibly do for a decade. It didn't work. So finally we adopted the Bitcoin standard, you know, and we quadrupled the stock price and the shareholders made billions of dollars and the employees all made millions of dollars and everyone's delighted and happy and it was good for Bitcoin and good for the company and good for the employees and the customers are happy. And now, you know, and this is back when MicroStrategy had a market cap of maybe $5 billion or something. Today, our market cap is more than $30 billion, you know, a few months later. The professor goes, okay, you've heard, you've heard the CEO. What do you guys think? Would you do it? And he takes a survey. First student. I don't know. It seems kind of risky. <laughs> Second student. It seems like an inappropriate use of shareholder funds. Third student, this isn't normally done. Fourth student, it kind of violates, you know, convention in corporate finance. Fifth student, we really can't see, you know, any major company doing it. I, I, I swear, I watched 10 students ex post facto, ex post facto, you could say, the facts are we ran out of options. The only alternative was sell the company, right, and close up shop, and we're done. Corporate death, or we do this, and by the way, it works, and everybody made billions, and they're happy. Every one of them said, no, we would never do this. And so you want to answer your question. It's the world's full of conventional wisdom and conventional thinkers and conventional institutions. And you can give them the answer. You can even take the risk. You can even prove it works. They will still stare at it and not to the channel. That was Michael Saylor telling you that the conventional thinking, the traditional thinking in the world doesn't want to invest in microstrategy. They just don't get it. They just don't understand Bitcoin. They don't understand the power of BTC, even though microstrategy is outperforming NVIDIA and the rest of the S&P up 535% over the last year compared to NVIDIA up 188%, the NASDAQ's only up 33%. You can see Michael Saylor is showing people this strategy works, the Bitcoin strategy works, and a lot of people just aren't paying attention. And it's really interesting because it gives us an advantage and it gives you an advantage because you understand the power of Bitcoin probably if you're watching this channel and you can get into some of these assets like MicroStrategy early. MicroStrategy's company is only around 30 to 40 billion dollars right now in terms of market cap and that could go a lot higher. And MicroStrategy is not the only company doing this right now. MetaPlanet, they have copied the MicroStrategy playbook and they just purchased an additional 109 BTC. And it's really interesting because you can see here, the Japanese stocks with the best yearly performance, MetaPlanet is actually number four for all of Japanese stocks. So all these companies that are putting Bitcoin on the balance sheet, they're showing that it works and that it's successful. The mainstream media, the traditional media, the traditional companies haven't understood yet. The Bitcoin ETFs still have humongous flows. MSTR doesn't have as much flows right now as the Bitcoin ETFs. But I think as it continues to outperform, there's going to be more hype, more FOMO around it. And just to show you guys, nobody's paying attention to MicroStrategy. If you look at the MSTR Search term over on Google, you can see it is actually starting to trend up here. It peaked out in March of this year when Bitcoin hit $70,000, MicroStrategy was going up. Now it's starting to go back up because the price is going up. So that's pretty common to see. But put that in perspective of how much search volume is this actually, if we compare MSTR to something like GameStop. GameStop is still being searched more over on Google than MicroStrategy is. And GameStop really hasn't had any momentum since 2020 or whenever that roaring kitty stuff happened a couple of years ago 
Uh, and you can see even back in March, uh, when Roaring Kitty was being talked about, uh, GameStop had a lot of hype around it and nobody was talking about MicroStrategy. Uh, compare MicroStrategy to Bitcoin and crypto, and you can see Bitcoin is a 31, crypto is a 13, MicroStrategy is a three. So nobody's talking about MSTR right now, and people don't really understand what they're doing right now is gonna be revolutionary. And the way I like to think about it, just very simply is, everybody that's investing in a micro strategy, Michael Saylor is gonna take your money, lever it up with a very low interest rate, lower than 1%, and then go buy Bitcoin. Um, it's genius, and that's very simplified, obviously. Uh, but you can see right here, micro strategy is climbing the ranks in terms of the top American companies up 34 spots just this week. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, this thing was at 300. Now we're at 227. And this is just gonna help MicroStrategy as the price continues to go up. It's gonna help MicroStrategy get into like the S&P 500, get into the NASDAQ. All of that is gonna help, especially when this price continues to go up. And guys, Bitcoin's price isn't even at its old all-time high yet. BTC is currently trading at around $62,000 at the time of this recording. So MicroStrategy, I mean, if it continues to go up, guys, it's gonna be in the top 200, top 100 companies potentially next year. And right now we're at a $212 price evaluation, uh, looking at you know the MST bull cycle power adjusted MNAV multiplier, you can see where its price could potentially go. And if you're not really familiar with what NAV is, you know, do some research, but it's just basically the net asset value that they have uh, on their balance sheet for their Bitcoin. And this is the multiplier for what their, you know, the underlying holdings of that Bitcoin would be. So you can see how that could potentially get a lot higher as the price of Bitcoin goes higher and there's just more FOMO. I mean, a $15,000 MSTR would be insane. That's more than a 50X from right now, but it could very well get there over the next, you know, five, 10 years. And then to get into some Bitcoin indicators, you can see every single time Bitcoin uh, after the election, it has tended to blast off. You can see the election in November tends to help Bitcoin blast off. A year and a half after the halving is when Bitcoin tends to peak, according to previous cycles. So if we see the same thing this time around, you know, we're going to see some nice gains for BTC going into 2025. And Bitcoin is following the global M2 money supply. M2 money supply has been going up here. Bitcoin has been following that. Checking this chart out here over on Fred, we can see the M2 money supply has definitely taken, uh, taken a trend reversal. After going down for about a year and a half, we have been steadily going back up month after month. So good to see the M2 money supply uh, go up. But one thing I do want to send a little bit of a warning here is we still have uh, assets. The Federal Reserve assets are still being sold off their balance sheet. They're still selling off their, their balance sheet. And normally when that happens, Bitcoin has been bearish in the past like back in 2018 when they were selling off assets, Bitcoin was bearish. When they started to do more quantitative uh, easing, putting more assets on the balance sheet, Bitcoin was bullish. But I mean, recently, 2023, Bitcoin was bullish. 2024, Bitcoin has been bullish and they were selling off the balance sheet. So maybe that doesn't matter as much anymore. Uh, but just want to give that out as a warning. Some people say this is uh, actually pretty bearish. For, uh, in my opinion, I don't think it matters as much, but we'll see what happens. And in the video, Michael Saylor says that MicroStrategy's endgame is to be the leading Bitcoin bank and become a trillion dollar company. So it's an exciting time to be a part of Bitcoin. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen going into Q4. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and hit the like button and subscribe. We have new videos coming out every single day. So make sure to do that. We appreciate you guys for watching the video always to the end. I'm Aaron from Bitcoin Bros. I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day.